To create animated cartoons with CapCut AI and free apps, we first need a character to say something. So we're gonna jump into CapCut, click on text, take the default text and drag it to the timeline. And let's go ahead and have CapCut's AI create something for our character to say. So we make sure that the text is highlighted in the timeline. We click on text here in the top right. And right here we have AI Writer, which is free. So we click on this. You'll get a screen that looks something like this. And we give it a topic. And we'll talk about, let's say, the four types of sand on beaches. And then we have to give it some requirements. How about 500 characters or less? And that's because the speech to text is available up to 500 characters only, or you could just do it 500 characters at a time. So let's just make it simple with 500 characters here. And then we give it a little more instruction. I don't know, maybe something like that. Then we click continue. We wait a second, it'll generate three scripts for us and we can scroll through them and see which one we like best. Now, one thing I've noticed is that I don't love exactly word for word what some of the AI scripts come out with. So what I'll do is take the one I like best, copy and paste it into another app, and then just tweak it a little bit. And that's what I've done with these scripts. I've got what I like right here already tweaked, and I'll just copy and paste that and bring it back into CapCut. Here in CapCut, we will just paste the script right here so that the AI has something to read. Don't worry about the fact that it's filling up the whole screen here and is kind of a mess. With the text highlighted in the timeline, we click up here on text-to-speech and we find a character we want to read our script for us. You've got plenty of free options and a bunch of paid options. So to do the free thing, let's test a couple. How about... Adorable girl. You're using the text-to-speech Probably too feature. young. You're using the text-to-speech feature. Choose a voice you like. That's not bad. I think I like chill, chill You're girl. You're using the text-to-speech feature. Choose a voice you like. Let's use chill girl. So we click on her. You're using the text-to-speech feature. Choose a voice you like. Then we click start reading. And it'll take a second and apply the text-to-speech. We just max it out. We're using exactly 500 characters. So it'll take a minute depending how fast your computer is. Now this text we see here, we no longer need that. So we're going to delete that. We're just going to have a quick listen. Did you know that the color of sand can reveal a lot about the beach's history? Tan sand often indicates a beach that has been around for... Now that... Sounds great. She sounds pretty natural and realistic. Now, one thing I notice, there's a little bit of a of a space in a few places. I'm just going to clean it up a little and delete some of these spaces just by holding down the command key on my Mac, the control key on the PC, and hitting the scroll wheel and zooming in a bit. And I'll make sure the clip is highlighted and hit command B. Then I'll go to here where it's still empty space and hit the letter Q to get rid of the beginning of that. And then just slide this over and notice that it's snapping into place because I have snapping on right here. And I'll do that for the rest. You don't have to watch. So that sounds great. Now I've got all the audio sounding good here and I want to bring this into another app. So I'm just going to export the audio only by selecting export and deselecting and giving it a name. Choosing where I want it to go. And I think it's going in the right place into this folder for you guys right here, which is free stuff and all of the elements I'm using, I'm going to show you how to create them. But if you don't want to create them, you can just hit the link for the downloads below and just download them so you can get to this faster. And I want to deselect video and make sure audio is selected. And I'm just going to choose an MP3 because it's smaller than a WAV file. Export that file. And I'm going to go into my web browser and go to this website right here, new.express.adobe.com slash tool slash animate dash from dash audio. And we want to create a character. Now we've got some Something for him to say. So the first thing we're going to do is select here where it says browse and we're going to browse to this free audio that I'm giving to you or you can have your AI create and it's going to take a second and upload it and generate a preview for us but then we're going to tweak it out. Oh, while it's generating that audio, can you guess where I am? I, I'm not at home. Let me know if this looks and sounds okay and is, is tolerable because it's going to be just a little bit different and uh, post in the comments where you think I am right now. I shouldn't too hard to figure out. Oh, and you can go to my travel channel and there'll be some big clues there coming soon if they're if they're not even there right now. So pay close attention there. Now we can test and see if we like how it sounds. Did you know that the color of sand can reveal a lot of... So don't love the background. Don't love the dude talking. So let's just go back 
and let's go ahead and modify this a bit. Let's start with a character by clicking on character and scroll down to a character that kind of works with our little beach, sandy beach theme. How about ponytail girl here? And we can adjust her size by dragging this up and down. And we want her to kind of fill the frame here right about there. We want to be able to use all of her. And then we want the background to be not this bookshelf, we want to put her on our own animated backgrounds, either a real background or a cartoony background. So to do that, we want to not go transparent. You think you would because transparent doesn't export in this app. We want to use custom color. We want that color to be green. I already was here and I made it green, but to change the color, you just hit custom and you choose the color you want. And I choose green and bam. And we use green. Why? Because we're going to key it out in CapCut and that's the easiest color to key out on a computer. Now we're going to click on size. I've got it set to YouTube shorts 1080 by 1920. Now you might think you would go landscape or use one of these other options because we're going to make a landscape, a, you know, a horizontal video, but you really want to use the shorts because look at it's 1920 tall and this is only 1080 tall. We want to get her as tall as we can. So she's as high resolution as possible. And then we'll adjust her within CapCut. And let's go ahead and preview her. We obviously could have made all these adjustments beforehand, which I should have done, but I didn't, but I'm just showing you my failures. So you can see what happens when you do exactly the same thing. Breaker 1-9, we've got a dude that should be sleeping, but he's making videos at night because he wants to make his people happy. Okay, that took a second, but let's preview it real quick. Did you know that the color of sand can reveal a lot about the beach's history? That's, that's perfect. Looks and sounds great. And this is AI doing amazing things, so just appreciate that. And we're going to hit download, and we're going to put it here in our free folder so you can have uh, Girl Talks. You can have that and, and use mine if you don't want to make your own. Bam. Next, we need a background. So we're going to go to this website here, vecteasy.com, and we're going to choose videos. Click on it, and it'll bring us to this page. And we want to type in what we want for a background because we could use a still image or have AI make a still image, but that would be boring. We want the image to move, right? We're going to type animated sandy beach. And we have all of these beaches that look great, but we want free ones. So we're gonna go license type, free license. And we wanna make sure videos are selected and it is. And look at these, these animated beaches we have. Now I've got my uh, speed turned out to be here, so it's going a little bit fast, but these are all you know potentially kind of cool. So let's go ahead and uh, download this guy. I'm going to click on it. We wanna click free download, but notice this is attribution required. That means if you use one of these elements in your videos, I'm gonna give them to you. So if you use them, you need to do this too. At the end of your video, you need to put vecteasy.com at the very end. So you give these guys credit for giving us these awesome videos. And we're gonna click on that and it's gonna download it. And we're gonna save it in this folder right here so you guys can use it too. We're gonna to talk about tan, white, black, and pink sandy beaches. So you wanna download four different beach scenes, either animated or real. I've got some of both for you to download if you don't wanna do this yourself. You also probably want maybe a fifth beach so she starts at a different place. So you can keep changing the scenes as she talks about it. Now let's go into CapCut and import all these beaches. I'm just gonna import all of this stuff right here just for fun even though you don't need all of it. Hit import. Let's go ahead and drag the beach we just downloaded to the timeline and see if it's what we want. And got a little too much going on there. I'd like the beach to be present before I start adding people to it. And I'm gonna use the letter Q to add a cut here and delete this. But if I have the track magnet on, it's gonna mess up all of this stuff down below. So I'm just gonna turn the track magnet off by clicking here or typing letter P. Now I type the letter Q and I just drag this over and it's gonna be just right. And yeah, I like that beach. I think that's a cool little scene. And let's go ahead and drag our girl down to the timeline. And notice that our girl has audio with her. She has all of this stuff. So I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna delete that. Now let's make our cartoon character look a little more like she's in this scene by removing this green background. CapCut just updated this. If you click on video and remove background, we don't have the auto cutout that it used to have here. We have auto removal. And then we have chroma key right here. So let's go ahead and click on chroma key. This is already highlighted. We just click on the green to make the green go away. And we can adjust it a little bit so there's no edges, maybe a little bit of the shadow. And then bam, she looks pretty great right there but she is a little bit big, doesn't look too natural there. So let's go ahead and make her look more correctly proportioned. So maybe something like, I don't know that. So she's standing at the beach. Maybe she's a little bit closer to us because those umbrellas are pretty small. Those something like this could work. She's much closer to camera. So that stuff 
up here smaller in the background. Let's go ahead and see how that looks so far. Did you know that the color of sand can reveal a lot about the beach's history? Tan. And right when she says tan sand, we want to show a different beach. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see where that is. And I'm looking at the waveform right here. History. Tan sand. So I'm going to cut her right here by highlighting this clip and hitting Command B. And then we're going to add our next clip. I'm going to shorten this one to here and add the next beach scene right here. History. Tan sand often indicates a beach that has been around for a while. Okay, so this is a different scene and she doesn't look right here. She's kind of in the bushes. We want her to match the scene. So what we're going to first do is just flip her so she's on this side facing to the right. To flip her, we click on this guy right here, the mirror icon. And then we're going to move her over here and maybe put her in the sand this time, just like right there. So she's actually on the beach and maybe even a little bit smaller. This is just going to keep it interesting for us. And let's just look at a couple seconds of that. History. Tan sand often indicates a beach. I think that looks really good. One thing we can do to add a little interest is have it zoom in. So first I'm going to find the end of this section. Which that has has been around for a while. And let's see what it says here. As it's formed from the weathering of rocks, white sand. She's talking about white sand starting here. So I'm going to add another cut here and I'm going to cut it here as well and get rid of this beach here because even though that's kind of white sand, we'll do a different white sand. And what I want is for this entire scene to be coming in at us, to zoom in at us. So to do that, I'm going to select all of it, right click. I'm going to choose create compound clip and now I can zoom in on this whole scene. So she'll be part of the scene. I'm going to hit the back arrow to get to this edit. That takes me to the previous edit. I'm going to set a keyframe. Remember, a keyframe marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property. The properties I want to change are probably scale and position. So I'll just hit this guy and that sets keyframes for scale, position, and rotate. And I wanted to start here and then zoom towards us through this entire scene. So I'm going to hit the down arrow to go to this edit and then go back one frame. And I'm going to just scale her up a little bit just so it's kind of subtle and then move it up a little so she stays kind of right there in the frame. Let's see how that looks. History. Tan sand often indicates a beach that has been around for a while. What do you think? That's that's not bad. You're making your own cartoon with free stuff already. Oh, and if you're serious about growing a YouTube channel, I've got a course called Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. And in the course I teach you to do is CapCut in like, you know, if you're hardcore, you can learn CapCut in a day and just get that learning curve over with and stop wasting your time trying to look at random videos or figure it out for yourself. Plus, in that course, they teach you exactly what you need to do to get more views and subscribers on YouTube, if that's your thing. If you want more views and subscribers, like you do the steps in that section of my course, and you will for sure, 100% every time, get more views and subscribers than you normally would have. I promise, guarantee it. If it doesn't work, you just uh, hit me up and I'll give you a full refund. So click right here or click on the link in the description below and uh, just, just, Stop, stop messing around and start growing your channel. Next thing I'm going to do this for the rest of the video. You, you, don't, you don't have to watch. And for your version, you can use whichever beaches you want and change them whenever you want and zoom in, zoom out, or leave it static if you want. And at the very end, I'll show you what I did. Next, we need to add some sound, some ambience. So we're going to click on audio and we're going to type in, well, I already typed it once before, beach ambience, see what comes up. Kind of quiet. Not too bad. Yeah, I think I like that one. We're just going to click it and drag it out of the timeline. And we're going to go to the end so we can delete it here by typing what? The letter W. And let's have a listen. Did you know that the... Way too loud. With it highlighted, we can just drag the volume down here. Let's try, I don't know about like that. Color of sand can reveal a lot about the beach's history. Tan sand often indicates a beach that has been around for a while, as it's formed from the weathering of rocks. White sand is often found in younger... Yeah, I think that's uh, not bad. Before I show you the final cartoon masterpiece, if you like this animation stuff, you're going to love this video on how to animate like Magnets Media. It'll be here in the, in the last 20 seconds. And now, the final masterpiece. Did you know that the color of sand can reveal a lot about the beach's history? Tan sand often indicates a beach that has been around for a while, as it's formed from the weathering of rocks. White sand is often found in younger beaches, as it's made up of the remains of tiny shells and corals. Black sand is usually a result of volcanic activity, as it's composed of tiny pieces of lava and other minerals. And pink sand. It's formed from the shells of tiny marine organisms called foraminifera.